Challenger Park and Creekside Trail are located at the end of First Street before it turns into Long Canyon. Bridal Path Equestrian Community is right adjacent to Challenger Park. Challenger Park and Creekside Trail sit on the south side of the Bridal Path neighborhood. And this is the arena area for the residents who live in Bridal Path where they can bring their horses, train them. Uh, I see there's jumping here, there are corrals, there are arenas. So if you have horses, Bridal Path is the place to be. So come out here and enjoy this beautiful park. There is a lot of parking when you come to Challenger Park and Creekside Trail. So there's never a lack of parking here. Creekside Trail starts out in Challenger Park. You come in and go all the way to the parking lot. And from there, you can access the trail. And there's plenty of parking here. Remember when you're here, there are rules and rattlesnakes. Creekside Trail is a dirt path wide enough for a road that heads up into the hills in South Simi. Just a short ways up from the parking lot, you ascend up the hill and there's several trails you can take here. But you also start to get really good views of the surrounding Simi Valley. Over there, if you can see in the distance, is the Reagan Museum or library. It's early summer here in Simi Valley, and the hills, of course, are getting very dry. One of the main plants out here are the wild oats, which feed a lot of wildlife and keep the hills covered to prevent erosion. Just a little further up the trail, there's another holly, but this one has no berries on it. I believe this is a male plant. Hollies a lot of times will have male and female plants with the females having berries. So that's where we just came from. And now I'm gonna go up this path to the top of the hill. About a half a mile in on Creekside Trail, you start to lose civilization there's a few houses off in the distance, but it gets very quiet, beautiful, and serene. There's a lot of birds flying around. So far, I've not seen any rattlesnakes, but they apparently are pretty prolific this year. A little bit beyond the halfway mile mark, there comes a crossroads. You can go to the left and go up the hill and see more views, or I'm choosing to take the lower path and go down toward the creek into the riparian environment that's right down there. Eventually the trail will end up on Long Canyon. From there you can pick up several other trails, including the Long Canyon Trail. So that's the hill I just climbed up. It's a little steeper than it looks, but it is well worth it because you get the views up here and you can see a good part of Simi Valley, Wood Ranch, heading over into Moore Park. And this is the beautiful bridal path community down below. Uh, horse properties, anywhere from an acre to two acres. Creekside Trail is a fairly moderate trail. The entrance is pretty steep. But to get here, you take First Street to where it turns into Long Canyon. You would turn into Challenger Park, follow the driveway all the way to the end to the parking lot, and from there you can access Creekside Trail. There are signs that point you to it. I'll tell you, when you come out here, make sure you bring shades, uh, hat, sunscreen, and water because there's very little shade out here. This one spot right here is about the only one I found with this tree on the trail. So it does get hot out here. So come prepared if you're out here. Closer to the bottom near the actual creek, there's a few more flowers blooming. Uh, I can see where this area has burned in the past. There are a lot of dead shrub here. There's a small scrub tree here that has purple berries on it. My plant identifier is not working out here, so I'm not sure what it is, but I'm sure it provides a lot of food for the wildlife and the birds. There's a red one that looks kind of like a cardinal flower. I'm not sure what it is, but it adds a nice pop of color out here in the gray and the brown as all the native grasses and stuff start to dry back. From a lot of points in this trail, you can actually see the Reagan National Library on the hill. I've seen it from very many different viewpoints here, and it's very dramatic with the hills framing it. 
The coastal scrub in this area adds a lot of beauty and color to the landscaping here. And a lot of it is drought tolerant. Over the eons, it has adjusted itself to the environment that's here. My understanding is that when the Shumash Indians lived here, they would do controlled burns on this so that it would keep the underbrush down and keep it a little bit more of a grass line or grass kind of environment for grazing animals and it just made it easier for them to hunt. Again, I'm out here, it's about nine o'clock in the morning and it's already starting to get a little hot. There's very little shade out here and I just wanna warn you, if you do come out here, make sure you bring water and a hat, sunglasses, because it gets pretty hot out here and if you've got a mile or two to walk back with no water, uh, that might not be too comfortable. So just come prepared. A little further down the path, you also run into another creek and I want to tell you that these creeks are not really creeks, they're dry runs. So the only time any water actually runs in these is during the rainy season. But because it's lower and water does go through here, it creates a riparian environment out here in the desert, as close as you can get to it anyway. And again, random color from the wildflowers that grow out here. This one is purple and white, another wildflower out here. Overall geology of this area is the Las Lasses period, which was 40 million years ago when this area was under the ocean and it's a sedimentary deposit. So when you find some rocks out here, if you look, sometimes you can find fossils in them. Uh, it's very interesting that the creeks actually cut into the side of the mountains and show you the geology over the time. Shumash Indians have lived in this area of eight to 10,000 years and frequented this area quite a bit for hunting. Uh, they collected the acorns from the oak trees for food, and they actually did some gardening out here. They grew some crops here. White morning glory. There are quite a few of them out here today. There are little bits of color everywhere out here. The views are definitely which make this park worth coming to. It's a little hazy today, so you can't see the mountains quite too well in the distance, but there's still spectacular views everywhere you look here. Here's a good example of the Las Lasas geological sediment that occurred 40 million years ago when this area was under water, under the ocean. Another wildflower that has kind of daisy looking flowers on it. So I'm making my way back now to the top of this hill. That's my car all the way down there in the parking lot you can see. So this is a full exercise trail, um, a moderate, I wouldn't call it extensive, but if you're not into walking up hills, this may not be the place for you. I pop up over this hill and yet more fantastic views every which way you look. Over underneath that mountain over there is the dog park, which we will go to on a further video somewhere down the line. Even though it's getting hot and dry, there are still a lot of wildflowers out here blooming. This one is particularly beautiful with the different colors in there. Also, it sits adjacent to this elix, also known as hollies, and it's just covered in berries. I'm sure the wildlife are going to love this and start picking those berries here pretty soon. But it's a pretty good sized bush here. The landscaping here is called coastal scrub. So be careful when you come out here because there are bikers. Downhill is definitely easier than going uphill. I've walked about four miles out here today and I didn't even begin to cover the trails. So if you come out here, make sure you keep track of where you're going because there are no signs out here. But fortunately, there are views from many areas so that you can keep up with the paths and the trails. So depending on where you go in Challenger Park, there are a few areas with some coastal oaks here. In fact, here's a huge one. Got a big canopy here, and it is very close to the parking lot. It always amazes me. This whole area burned a couple of years ago, the Long Canyon fires, and the trees, even though the trunks are burnt, they still come back out. They're very resilient and they've adapted to this environment because there have always been wildfires here. Some of the wildlife that you'll encounter out here are going to be coyotes, rattlesnakes, uh, gophers, rabbits, lizards. Uh, I've seen a few raptors, some um, hawks, a few crows, 
And of course, there are mountain lions out here. So if you come out here, be careful and keep your eyes out. You're in their home. They're not in yours. So respect them and they'll leave you alone. This gorgeous specimen here is a laurel sumac. And it's probably about 10 feet tall. And once the flowers finish, they will form berries that all the animals out here particularly like, especially the birds. So when you're looking for a scenic and fairly easy trail to follow, come out to Challenger Park and Creekside Trail. There's actually three valleys that come together here, the Montgomery, the Oak, and the Long. So if you follow this trail all the way to the end, you can hook up with the Long Canyon Trail system, which goes up into the Santa Susana Mountains and they go on for miles and miles and miles. So come out here and enjoy this park. Just remember to bring some water with you and watch out for the rattlesnakes. So thank you for joining me. I appreciate you following me on this journey. I'm learning a lot about the parks here myself. So until the next time, see ya.